Hey guys, this is Kupta Marie. She does it all, a little bit of everything. And um, I'm tired. I was cooking for my kids. I know they're coming home soon. So I had to, in between videotaping, try to make some food for them. One of them in particular, if he comes home, there was no fresh food made or he can't smell the food from the door, his face says it all, mom, what happened? So <laughs> I have to make sure each time I think about his face, I have to like, oh, I have to go cook now. Anyhow, guys, um, I was sitting here and getting the meat ready, seasons and all, and something come to mind. And I felt like, you know what? I have to speak my truth. I have to speak my mind. Because we live in an era where people are so sensitive these days. And I asked myself, why? Life is so short. Why don't you enjoy yourself and keep it moving, you know? And um, why I'm going to tell you why I feel that way. Any little thing, people are so fast to cancel. Culture, I think they call it these days. As you can tell, I am not a person who is all in social media. I don't have a Twitter account. I don't have an Instagram account. I don't care for stuff like that. To me, I think people put too much of their private information out there. I don't really care for stuff like that. Yeah, some people say, well, if you have social media, if you interact with other people, uh, your YouTube channel will grow faster, things will go, you know, I'm not in a hurry. Whoever stay with me are people who meant to stay with me, who wants to learn, and we're going to learn together. And if you don't feel like this is the right place for you, with all the respect, find a place where you'll be happy. One time I heard one, two of the, two or three if not mistaken, about five big YouTubers that have like thousands, thousands of subscribers. And some people were trying to be mean and rude to them. And I heard them say, you know what? You cannot subscribe right now. You know, your little one subscriber is not going to help me. I don't care. I'm like, whoa, no, you're not supposed to talk to them like that. You have to respect them regardless. But at the same time, sometimes you see people are so sensitive there was time I post videos that I had a certain amount of subscribers and then it decreases. And I'm like, wait, what did I do? What did I say? Why people are running, you know, instead of coming. And I'm like, you know what? With all the respect, people have right to change their mind. And later on, they want to come back. They are welcome. And if not, it's okay. I hope you find happiness wherever you go. Whenever I say something, when it comes to financial advice, I am not an advisor. I'm not going to give you advice on how to spend your money. This is your hard working, earn money. You spend it however you please to. I've always said, do your own research, do your own due diligence before you purchase anything. If I am reading something, I have always let people know, hey, I am from Haiti. And in Haiti, you speak, you learn French at school. You speak Creole at home. I mean, I left Haiti 20 something years ago. I don't know how things work now, but you come from, I come from my country with two languages. Come here in America, I had to learn English from scratch and then learn Spanish on top of it. So I have four languages in the brain, in the back of my head. So whenever I'm saying something, it's not going to sound like somebody who's from America because I speak so many other languages. That's one thing. In the other, I feel like, why I have to be truthful to myself, tell people and show people who I am, not to hide anything. I mean, there were times when people, like when people no longer with us on this planet, they tell you the last thing they said, the last word, their family member remember what they say, Steve Jobs, um, some pilot, some, whatever they say was the last moment. And if anything happened to me, how people would be reminded of me or how I would want people to re to be to re to be reminded of me is a young lady that has no fear that always change you know look for changes that always take action always always look forward to new things in life take chances not afraid of take chances not afraid of criticisms not afraid of taking, again, action, and not afraid of bullying, not afraid of knowing one day she will or she would have had making a lot of money from crypto. She loved the evolution of cryptocurrency. 
if I am no longer on this planet, think of me this way. Somebody who has no fear. And what I am about to say right now, I would have no fear to let you guys know how I feel. And no disrespect, it's just how I feel. Um, when Samuel Kevin passed away, a lot of women celebrate, happy of his passing. And my biggest regret of him passing is me. When he was alive, I never watched his video because of what people were saying about him. He's a mean guy. He doesn't like black women. He said a lot of mean stuff. Guys, guys, we cannot be so sensitive about reality, about things that's happening. After he passed, although I never show any kind of emotion that, oh, good for him. No, it's a human being at the end of the day. He's no longer with us. At the end of the day, whether some women did not like him, I'm sure some women loved him. And there was something called opinions. When you have your opinions, you have to go buy it. You have to go buy that. You cannot be afraid of expressing yourself. The guy, I would say, I've watched some of his videos after his passing. And my biggest regret was not watching it while he was alive. And I cannot bring the man back for him to be as mean, rude, and fun sometime. Only thing that we cannot take is the truth. And, and please forgive me. I know a lot of people might not like what I have to say, but it's the way I feel. Let's go with the floor, okay? I'm not being rude or mean. As a woman, whatever issue a woman feeling at this moment that give birth to kids, I have been feeling it. I am feeling it. And it's okay. We just have to accept reality. That's what I think. We are in decline of a certain things. <sighs> Crypto Murray, why are you going there? I'm going there because it's just not fair. Every little thing people say now is a, a, a culture, cancel, cancel culture, hashtag cancel, whatever. People are so sensitive. We're going to have fun anymore. We have to bite our tongue when we want to say something. Cause we don't want to sort people. We don't want to make people feel bad. Come on, if you choose to live a certain lifestyle, that's you. As long as you're happy, who cares? That's who you are. And for you to leave behind the curtain, behind the scene, because you're afraid of people criticizing you, it just doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you, I have been through a lot of crap in my life. Okay? And I'm still standing. I have people standing in my face said the worst thing a human being can say to another human. And now, you know, I take it as just people sometimes are jealous. They make more money than you. They're in a better position than you and still can stand you for no reason. You have to allow yourself to be you. Okay. Another thing. Um, when I watched Dr. Uh, not Dr. Pastor T.D. Jake's sermon where who that one, that one went viral where everybody was saying, cancel coach. We're going to cancel him because he disrespected women. Oh my God, guys, I watched the tape about 20 times. I'm not lying to you about 20 times. If anybody would get angry or mad at him, I think it would have been men. Because when he said, we all men pour in and describe what that means, guys, to me, he only say one phrase about women are being trained to be like men because of the workforce, because of how much money, how he evolved our life becoming now, we're making money left to right. And he explained in a certain way, but I don't see why Ken saw the man, he was speaking his opinions again we have to allow people to say what they feel as long as the person don't touch you physically as long as the person don't come to you and say hey Kuta Maru, you this you that why is it <laughs> my business for me to stop the person from speaking their truth that's their truth yeah and we have to understand um i was thinking guys Give me one second. I have to, I'm not, I don't want to stop the video, but I'm going to run to the kitchen to load the rice down. I can smell it. I don't want it to be burned. Give me one second, y'all. <laughs> oh, oh 
sorry guys i'm making some good haitian rice with the pento bean the pento bean is some um it's kind of like brown with some little dot in it with the way haitian cook it all oh, my children love it so i'm right <laughs> i had to run because <laughs> i don't want to stop the video so i had to run yes guy let's go back um yes Everybody want to cancel you. They want to cancel you just because they don't agree with something you said. Like, come on. We are we're becoming too sensitive now. Every little thing. I think for YouTube, cancel culture, since they cannot cancel your whole account, they withdraw themselves. They unsubscribe, which, listen, you have right to do whatever you want. But at the same time, why the world are becoming so sensitive? I've also thinking about back then, Cause I love comedian. I love, oh my God. I, I would sit down, sit down, watch Chris Rock, Eddie Murphy, war. Oh my God. The greatest of the greatest. What's his name? Oh, please don't make me forget this man's name. I love him so much. Richard Pryor. My goodness. I said to myself, if Richard Pryor were to be in this era right now today, they will cancel him. Eddie Murphy, war with that tight. <laughs> Letter pens, they will cancel him. Oh my god. Um, what's his name? Oh god, Dave Chappelle now is going through scrutiny, all kind of stuff. Like, come on, man. Like, can we just be ourselves and be happy? Allow people to do what they do best. Listen, whenever somebody says something or do something, it's always a positive and a negative. Can you just grab the positive and ignore the negative? You have to cancel the person. You have to throw the person under the bus. You have to take food out of the person's mouth. It's just not fair. We are becoming this world of, uh, I don't know, like hidden somewhere, not showing the world who we really are. Okay, I wear this wig. I have different type of wigs. And yes, it's my style as a black woman. We, we do stuff like that, okay? We do stuff like that. But I can shave my head and come as I am. I am a happy and a beautiful woman knowing that I don't have to wear this to look good. I could wear my natural hair. I could shave my head. I could wear a wig and still be happy. Why do you have to cancel me just because you don't like what I said or you don't like how I look? You don't like how I sound? I feel like we have to try to adopt and accept people's differences. You know, this is who you are. This is what you want to be. This is what make you happy. Go for it. But accept and allow people to have fun and speak their mind on how they feel about the changes. Like if I, I remember one time I shaved my head and I went to work and this doctor came and gave me a, a pout in the head. And I'm like, what the hell? And as Haitian, when we were kids, kids in Haiti, when you have a bald head, they call it zoklo. If any Haitian watching, please tell me you've heard that word before. Zoklo is like when you have no hair and the person coming, boo! And since there was no hair to reflect back, <laughs> you could hear the boom in your scarf. So, guys, I just, I just feel like I had to say that. Can we just be ourselves and accept each other and allow each other to have fun without having to cancel the person for no reason? I am cooking, guys. It's hot in here. The, the food smells so good. I wish you could taste it. It smells so good, but I'm sweating at the same time. But please forgive me. We're just going to keep it going. So, yeah, when it comes to that uh, Pastor T.D. Jake's sermon, I watch it over and over. And I see the guy did not say anything that deserved to be taken so deeply. We are becoming so sensitive. And when it comes to Kevin Samuel, as a black woman myself, that had, you know, that have four kids, of course, when you have kids, your body is not the same. Guys, I remember when I came from my beautiful country, Haiti, I was 98 pounds. 98 pounds, yeah. No back, no front. There was this shrimp that falls in the river in Haiti, sweet water. They call it chelling. I don't know. If you're again Haitian, I know you hear that word. Chelling is a little shrimp that has nothing to stop it. It just jump out of the water, jump out of the water, and then come right back in the water. It's so skinny. It's so tiny. And they used to call me that. They used to call me chelling because I was so tiny, so skinny. 
I remember this old man that used to come here to visit his kids, give him a visa. He would go back and forth to Haiti and here. He saw me one day. He said, oh, my God, because he sees in Haiti, you have to back then in my style and my time and my town, you have to have some fat on. You have to have big behind, big front, everything heavy. So that means you can eat just in Africa, someplace in Africa, too. You can eat. You have money. You can support the guys. I remember this neighbor. She was a single woman. She would. She was. They call it en forme. If any Haitian watching again, en forme mean you're doing good. You look good. And she was not tiny. She she had big behind everything. We call them here big bonded. Okay. And the old man said, when everybody was making fun of me, say, oh God, she's so tiny. She's so skinny. She will never find a man living in Haiti. And, and the old man say, guys, you guys don't understand. I know you've never traveled to U.S. or anywhere outside of Haiti, but that type of body, that's what they accept, adore in America. Because you, I didn't have kids yet. You know, you have to understand that. Now, after four kids, I have to be honest with you guys. <laughs> it's not the same. Things change, guys. And I breastfed my children. So... It's not the same. I'm letting you in my life deeply. It's not the same. And as you get older, your metabolism slows down, guys. Any woman in this situation right now, I am feeling your pain, but I don't care. This is who I am. You're going to take me as I am. I'm going to make you laugh. We're going to have fun. But this is what it is right now, y'all. And I cannot help it. <laughs> I cannot take myself back to being 16, 17, 18, 19, when I was this little thing, you think, oh, Lord, nothing can go wrong with that one. She is so tiny. She is so fine. But after you give birth to these precious babies, things change, and you have to allow yourself to enjoy yourself just the way you are. Oh, my God. When Kevin Samuel talk about women that said that their husband were making six figures and they give birth, they single mom, they were looking for men that make six figures and he had a problem with that. The man, I'm not saying he was right because every man has a type of body shape they like in a woman. Some people like them tiny skinny. Some people like them like a sister that have born, that have meat on. And some people... Want them medium size, I don't know, large, extra large. Some guys looking for extra large women, y'all. This is to tell you everybody has their taste. Everybody has their thing. And for people to feel offended, to feel a certain way about a certain things, to want to cancel you because they don't agree, they don't allow us certain things, it to me is ridiculous. Can we accept each other? Can we allow each other? Because you, un you unsubscribe for one thing you might not like. You might, you might be missing out 10, 20 things that might be able to help you that you might be beneficial from. But because you didn't like one thing I said, oh, I'm out. And that's fine with me. You know, I'm not saying that, guys. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> I'm not saying that because people unsubscribe. I've seen it all the time. And it's okay with me. It's just that the fact people are so sensitive. People are so easy to cancel each other for things that don't make no sense. Again, when it comes to Kevin Samuels, I know he was rough on us and a sister. And I remember one time, one white lady called trying to trash a black woman. And he stood up for us. He said, no way. My mother is a black woman. I'm not going to allow you to do that. Yes, the man was rough. He was tough. Maybe it's not what he said that was painful to black women in particular. It's how he said it. That was a little bit disgusting. I realized that because I had to tell my son. <laughs> there were time I watched him. I watched Kevin Samuel, you know, previous recorded thing on YouTube with my son. I said, oh, he was tough. He was hard. Oh, my God. I can't believe that, you know. And as a single mom with four, I don't expect a six-figure, four-figure man to come to my life. If he comes, he welcome. But why do, why do we have to put a number on it? Can we find somebody who loves us for us, for who we are, who will accept our flowers, who will accept us for who we are, who will accept us in our children? Because, yes, it's one thing. To want the mother. But what about the kids? 
When it comes to my kids, my kids come first. If you cannot get along with my kids, don't even try it. Bye-bye. Bye, Felicia. See you later. My kids are my everything, okay? A man can always, bye-bye, find another one. And, and, and no matter what, listen, I love guys and 76, 66%. But it's seventy six percent of the of my subscribers are men, and I have a lot of respect for them, and I always call them my kings. And at the same time, guys have their taste. They want what they want, and they're gonna go for it. And if you marry somebody right now, they ninety eight to one hundred, one hundred and twenty pounds, and you want that person to have children with you, please don't expect that person to also be the way you marry them. Unless you're going to take them with you and have them have some workout, something, try to keep them, you know, teach them how to lose the weight. There was a little pouch. <laughs> I don't know if I can show you to you guys right there down here. There was a little pouch here. After you carry kids, I don't know how Hollywood women do it, y'all. Because they give birth um, one to two weeks later, and then you see them looking like, like they never carry a baby. And I said, hold on. What's going on? This person just give birth? I know there was something called surgery, but I'm talking about a warrior woman like me that don't have the money that cannot afford to do surgery. That little pouch right here down here in the mid session of your stomach, it doesn't matter how hard you work out, y'all. Yeah? It doesn't matter how hard you work out. This little pouch going to be there. And the man has to understand it's a sacrifice to give birth to a child, not alone four kids in my case. So just, just be happy. Be happy you have a partner, you have somebody with you. Accept them. Allow them to be themselves. Don't disrespect no woman. Women been through a lot, guys. Women been through a lot. To have a baby head go through you know where. It's a lot for us to go through. Traumatized. Some women don't make it after birth, you know. It's so much. And for men to cheat on us after we give birth, they don't feel like we're the quality of woman they want. And you know, initially when you get with us, we were the finest thing. You could find the finest jewelry, piece of jewelry you could find. But at the same time, people age, things happen. The body changes. You have to understand that. And another thing, how can Bill Gates divorce uh, his wife for so long? There was no forever love anymore, guys. This lady that uh, trying to divorce Sylvester Stallone now after 25 years. You knew initially when you get with this man, you were, you had a 22 years different gap. And you still go for it. Have three kids by the man. Now the man needs you. You decide to divorce him. Some women can have really, really a bad, bad heart. And men also act different, Lou. They, men can be, I don't want to use the word, but men can be, you know what. But at the same time, that's why in my video I said she's a gold digger. Because you know, I'm sorry guys, I'm cooking and it's hot. <laughs> you know the guy was 22 years older than you. You know after a certain time, it's not going to be the same. So for you to divorce the man now when... He probably going to need you. He's 76, uh, 76, yeah. When he's 80, the man probably don't even remember who he was, who, who he used to be. That man needs your support, your help to have taken care of him. And that's when you decide to divorce him. To me, that's a gold digger that I don't respect or deserve any respect of mine. And uh, what, what else I was going to say? I don't want to keep it so long, but I just want to let you guys know this come to mind. I had to let you guys know how I feel. Be yourself. Be happy. Don't worry about criticism. Because if I were to worry about criticisms, I wouldn't be here today for my kids. There were moments I think about it. I said, my kids are the reason why I'm here. Because what would they do without me, you know? And what would I do without them? I love my children. I think I'll go crazy without my kids. So I love my kids. Again, be yourself, be happy, and um, don't worry about criticisms. Everybody has some kind of flaws. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care if you think you, you, you're the Beyonce and the Jay-Z. You have flaws. Nobody's perfect. 
Nobody's perfect. I've seen some rich guy with some big belly drinking beers and have the finest young lady with them that has six pack. But you know what? Because of the money, they are with the man. Because of the comfortable life they are about to live, they allow the mess. They allow the crap. Why men cannot accept us after we give birth to our children, our beautiful kids that are going to change the world? You know? Oh, guys, sometimes I have those moments. <laughs> And I have to bring it. And it's okay if not everybody not agree with me. It's okay. Uh, again, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and if you don't like what I have to say, it's okay also. This channel is a channel that you can express your opinion freely without offending me. As a woman, I have feel the same way you feel in different ways and different you know, there was a moment of the month, we go crazy, things happen to us, our body changes, uh, something they call monopause. I don't think I'm there yet, but, you know, some people experience it really in some young age. I'm in my early 40s. I don't have to know exactly. <laughs> but it's true, guys. We have to be realistic with life. You know, I will never be 98 pounds again. If I am 98 pounds again, people are going to say, oh, she's sick. What's wrong with her? Some wrong with her. She's not eating. I love me a nice plate of Haitian food, yeah. Oh, yeah, and some KFC. So I'm going to eat, and I'm going to work hard and try to maintain the weight, okay? But ain't nobody going to stop me from eating. I sound so American in this second. Ain't nobody. <laughs> anyway, guys, listen, I know people are watching from all over the world. And I but this segment because I feel like we are too sensitive. We are becoming too sensitive. Every little thing, we want to cancel the person. We don't agree with them. We want to cancel them. And I said to myself, wow, all those comedians back then, how would they have survived it? Because they would not be able to be themselves, speak out loud how they feel inside. Now for them to make a, any kind of show, they have to think about it twice. Can I say this? Can I say that without offending anybody? And I don't think it's fair. If we are happy in the skin that we're in, if we are happy with the choice we make in life, then we should allow people to be themselves and say whatever they want without offending us. Uh, listen, I am still standing after people disrespecting me every day.